Okay, so welcome back here. We've given the uh, the uh, four of the primers two days to dry out here, and the primers have dried out. And again, um, the primer, the red one over here, is the uh, Waterborne Sticks Bonding Primer. The uh, yellow one is the uh, Zinser Bullseye One Two Three, which is water based. Over here is an oil based primer. This is the Benjamin Moore fresh start enamel underbody and lastly over here we have the uh, zinser bin which is a shellac based prim primer so i have a fork here and i'm just going to drag the fork down it like that there and we'll do another one here okay and then i'll get rid of the dust there and we'll do a yeah, cross hatch here Cross hatch here, cross hatch here, cross hatch there. Okay, so once that's done, I'm gonna put some tape here. This is the Frost King tape. It's a it's it's a window tape and it's clear. So I have it right here. I'm gonna just get rid of the dust. Put that like so. Grab my five and one really press this stuff into the surface use my fingers here and the other tape we have is duct tape okay so i'll put this right here once again grab my five and one and flatten it out Use my fingers. Okay. So we'll come up with the duct tape first, scratch that off. You can see what came off there. And now the frost tape. This is the red part. And then we go towards the, uh, zin to, towards the zensor bin. Okay, so you could see um, all the primers did did work. Um, I, I, right here we have the sticks. A little bit more came off on, with the uh, with the uh, with the clear tape for, for, versus the duct tape here. This is the bullseye one two three. It's made by Zinser, and again, this is a water based product along with this. You can see a lot has, has come off here. Here we have the Fresh Start Oil Enamel Underbody. And that did a great job there. And lastly, we have the Zinser Bin, which is a shellac base. And that also did a great job. So I think that by uh, by looking at these, I and before I, I uh, sanded down the surface with sandpaper, um... I believe we used 120 grit, uh, and then I used the uh, deglosser, which is Will Bond, to clean the surface of the polyurethane that was put on top of the uh, of the uh, laminate wood here. So as you can see here, I think that the that the oil and the shellac did 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 the best, and then the uh, sticks did did a great job. Um, and the worst one was the bullseye one, one, two, three, but, um, I'll grab my fingernail here and I'll scratch the surface and there's nothing that comes off there. I'll scratch the surface here and there's nothing that comes off there. Scratch that. That looks good. And my fingernail just glides right over the, uh, zins or the uh, sh shellac base. Okay, 
So you can see that all four of these primers did a uh, did a good job in adhering. The uh, shellac and the oil did, did the best. Then the uh, the sticks bond, bonding primer did a uh, did a good job too. Um, and then la lastly, the bullseye one 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 two three. It uh, I I would say that it it uh it uh, did a uh, fair job. Um, but I'll, and, la and lastly, I'll take my five and one. Okay, I started here. There's nothing that came off on the sticks. It did tear through the bullseye one, two, three. Here is the oil from Fresh Start Enamel Underbody. No, nothing came off there. And lastly, we have the uh, Zinser bin, the shellac base, and nothing has come off there. Okay, so in conclusion, I, I would say that it's definitely what bit best to do the prep work with the sanding and the deglossing to uh, improve the adhesion of the primer. But as you can see, um, you can see how these will hold up to the, to the scratch test after two days of uh, drying. Okay, so thank you very much for watching this video and I'll see you on the next one.